This is the Podcraft Podcast, episode three, Monday, August 3rd. Today we'll feature Society Brewing Company. This is the Podcraft Podcast, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. This is your hosts, Chris and Charlie. We have the brains behind the operation, producer Steve. Uh, This is episode three for August 3rd, 2020. Uh, Today, we'll feature a couple of beers from San Diego's Society Brewing. Uh, Feel free to give us a follow at Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Feel feel free to follow us at The Podcraft, at Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Our webpage, thepodcraft.com, or email us at thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com with any questions and suggestions. With that, Charlie, take it away. Yummy. (laughs) What do we got going on? What do, what do you got going on? Well, you know, I was uh, I was doing a little research for this week and uh, excellent looking for something to celebrate, and I uh, I found out August sixth is IPA Day. What do you know about that? Uh, I'm a big fan of any day that has anything to do with beer. Yes. So, so we, IPA uh, Day, yes, I'm in. Great. So August sixth, we'll celebrate IPA Day, and uh, we'll follow that up uh, August seventh with International Beer Day. Back to back beer days. Back to back beer days. It's a. It's going to be a party. It's a it's celebration be a party. this week. That's all I got to say. So this uh, this week, we uh, you know speaking of IPA Day, we uh, decided to focus on one of one of San Diego's uh, best IPA hitters. It's the uh, Brewers Brewery. It is. The Brewers. So Brewers. we got some. We got some. Uh, we got some fingers out there. We got. Uh, we got some. Some uh, some people we know that actually work at this place, so it's a plus. There it is. It's a plus to us to have uh, a little bit of knowledge from them. But uh, yeah, we we got Troy and uh, Grayson. Grayson. Grayson, yeah. Just recently started there as their quality assurance. And we don't. Uh, uh, I've met Doug, but he wouldn't know me from anyone, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, would like to meet him here and have him talk over some beers. That would be nice. I agree. Yeah, they. Um, so a little bit about Society, and uh, they started in 2012. Uh, they're over in uh, Kearney Mesa, I believe. Kearney Mesa yep. is the area. Uh, so the name of the brewery is an homage to uh, to beer, the planet's greatest social uniter. Beer has persistently brought people together for centuries, ignoring class, race, creed, religion, sex, age, and any other imaginable barriers to human connection. Beer is democratic. Beer is culture. Beer is society. Well, I know that they have some fantastic beers. I haven't tasted every one of them, but I've tasted several. And uh, basically, one of the ones that we're going to go over today is uh, is one of the ones that I really enjoy. So, I like it. Should we uh, Should we get started? You better. Let's uh, Let's do it. Do we have any uh, glasses over here? I can find them. All right. I'll uh, I'll start by talking about our first beer here. So uh, our first beer is the Coachman, a session uh, India Pale Ale. Uh, the description here would be the the Coachman is hoppy and light, uh, intense peach and citrus hop aromas, plus a low ABV makes this two-time GABF gold medal winner a definitive session IPA. Comes in at four point nine percent. It's a drinker, and let's give her a crack. Here we are. Fantastic. So I was uh, I was I was reading the other day, Charlie, when I was uh, um, you do a lot of reading. Actually, I think I was listening. I think I was listening to Grayson uh, give a give a review on this very beer this last week. Really, I didn't see that one. on on Instagram. Uh, and he had, uh, I believe, it was Grayson who talked about um, the session IPA category at the GABF, the Great American Beer Festival, has only been around since uh, 2015. Uh, in two of those years, uh, this beer has taken away the gold. So it's the winningest well, it looks session like a winner. IPA. It looks like a winner. It does. It does. So it do, smells uh, great. It's got a nice, uh, nice foamy head on there. Let's dive it smells in. Super danky. It's, does it? It sure does. I'm not getting that. I think it smells great. Actually, hey, wh- hey where's the can? Ah, uh, the can. All, all I get to do is smell. So. That's it. We're gonna give uh, Steve a couple free sniffs yeah, over you there. Can smell my breath if you like, Steve. That would be wonderful. So Steve's uh, once again. We we uh, <laughs> little tuna not fish gonna allow society. Steve to. to, to <laughs> To drink until uh, we wrap this party up. Yeah. Make sure easy, we get a easy quality on production. <laughs> so what do you think of that? You know, it's it's pretty full body for, for being a session it's IPA. Just a, it's just a damn good beer. I mean, sorry, but uh, I mean, it's, it smells beer. great, tastes great. 
certainly full body and, and it um you know keeping with the, the society beers a lot of their beers they have a really resiny they just a great ipa danky that's just a, a really great tasting beer i mean it's not there's there's no fireworks going on here but let me tell you it's just a straight up delicious beer i agree so the um I definitely wouldn't, you know, first drinking that, if I just did a blind taste test, I don't know if I would think that that would be a 4.5% IPA. No, not at all. It just tastes like anything else we drink as as an IPA on the 6% range or whatever it might be. I know, agree. Some That's of these are 7 plus, so. I like it. What do you think we the, should um, do with it? I think we should drink the rest of it immediately. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I definitely can see uh, that's definitely a full a full flavored uh, beer, you know, a lot and of those are small cans, twelve ounce cans. Yeah, sure. they're little cans. So, I mean, it's not like sixteen ounces you got to bust down. But I wouldn't be upset if it was in a sixteen ounce can. <laughs> that's a that's a dang good beer. I, I definitely, uh, I'm a fan of the Coachman. I've been a fan for a few years. Yeah. Uh, I think probably since it, it came out. After I'd have that to say they know GBA. what they're doing when they're making a. I love their uh-huh. IPAs. Probably one of the coolest breweries in town too. If you. Uh, you go over there and, and check it out. How you know all of their beers have a silhouette on them. Um, you know, and you go and they. Uh, if you go to their webpage, all of their uh, employees have a silhouette on the on the webpage as well, which is uh, pretty neat. That could be, you know, for the people we know, they're probably some nasty looking silhouettes. I would I would uh, venture to guess. So cool. the uh, what do we got coming next, Charlie? Right away, we're getting to it. We're going to go with their uh, recently released Agreeable Folk IPA. It's an Indian Pale Ale at 7.5% ABV. And I actually really like this beer. Um, I was hoping they would come out with something new. I'm I'm a big fan of the Pupil, the other one that they have here at Society. But this is just a, in my opinion, personal opinion, is just like a notch above the um, pupil and they have one other beer that um, I regrettably and unregrettably have to say that I drank it. It's the uh, good of the public. I think it is. Oh, that just came out a few weeks ago. Yeah. So they're both awesome. So I went up there and grabbed some and uh, we are now reviewing this one. I like it. That, uh, that pupil for the longest time was, uh, was my favorite beer in town. Well, there's no doubt that it's a great beer. <laughs> so this uh, this has got a, a really nice head on it as well. And when you're looking through it, it's it's. I it's mean, you can almost see right through it. It's clearer than the west, last one. Is that just a West Coast IPA? Yeah, I think it is. Just like that. Doesn't that say West Coast on it, but yeah, just an IPA. There it is, clean, bright, tropical. It's, it's made on the West Coast, so I think that makes there it a West Coast IPA. Default. What do you think? It's coming in at seven and a half. We got a buddy here. He's throwing one down too. Good stuff. I like it. The uh, hmm. good on the mouth. Good, good it mouthy great, taste. Yeah. No, it, it for sure does. You know, it, it um, it doesn't have that that. I don't think it's got that real. You know, that hop bite that that a lot of the um society beers have. You know, that I think they're it gets clean and and crisp on the back end like a lot of their beers are. But a lot of them, I think, uh, definitely give you a real a, a real punch of those those hops right in the mouth. I think they're doing it right for sure. These I uh, agree. These cans are they're simple but unique. Let's put it that way. I like them a lot. They're uh, they've got their silhouettes on here, and they've got well, the coachman has the guy up on the top of the you know stagecoach thing, and with the reins in his hand. And this one is just like. Uh, a bunch of different folks being agreeable, which is pretty cool. They got dogs running on it. I like it. You know, for the longest time, I think it it, it feels like those guys. Um, they just had a core group of beers. Like they're uh, they had the you know a handful of uh, uh, IPAs, and they they weren't making a whole lot of new beers. Now recently, um, like that that came out recently. Right? Yeah, these the, two beers have come out in the last. You know, three to six months. Uh, the uh, the agreeable folk did, and then the the other one being the good of the people, good of the public, good of the public. Yeah, good the public. people, public. It's uh, what are they? It's uh, G O G O P. Not associated with any 
uh, political, political party. Affiliation. Yeah. Good beers. I like them. I would, uh, I, you know what? I, I hadn't tasted the Coachman before and I like it a lot. And I'm really usually not a session person or saison. Is it saison or session? Uh, session. Session. This is a, this is a really good tasting beer too. So I'm, I like them both, but I, I think my, uh, for some reason or another, my palate likes the agreeable folk, but, uh, I could drink that Coachman. I think I, uh, I'm a fan of that, that Coachman. I think, uh, you know, just reading this, this write up real quick on the, uh, on the agreeable folk, uh, this easy drinking IPA clocks in at a surprising seven and a half percent packed with Citra Comet and Idaho seven hops. Uh, the tropical mouth party is bursting with vibrant notes of apricot, nectarine, mango, accompanied by some underlying resinous and citrus characteristics. Well, they got the right fruits. I would certainly agree that it's uh, that it's <laughs> easily, uh, easily it. drinkable. Well, I think the uh, combination of these hops that they use, and do we have a write up on that? On the, the Coachman? No, the uh, agreeable uh, agreeable folk. That was the the agreeable folk. Okay, that's a uh, that's a good combo. I I would agree. That's definitely very very easy drinking. Um. I would, uh, I, I think out of those two, I think I, I would go with the, the coachman. I think that, uh, I, I think it's just, uh, the mosaic citra and Simcoe hops in there. I think I just like that, that hop profile a little, a uh, little better. Um, it's, it's a, it's an easier drink, but this one actually gives you, I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of, uh, chop to this one, in my opinion. Got it's, a little bit of punch. Yeah. It's got something in there. And plus, you know. For those who do prefer the uh, extra kick on the uh, the alcohol content, it's seven point five, which is up there. I mean, that's that's pushing uh, double IPA. I'll take uh, two of the uh, the Coachman, thanks. At one time, double them up. They're only twelve ounces. There you go. So the uh, so Charlie, if you had to uh, you had to vote, you sounds like you're going agreeable folk. I'm going agreeable folk. All right. Although I, uh, I do like the Coachman. I'm not I'm going I'm not, Coachman. Well, so, but this one's good too, right? It's great. It's so it's, we're, it's we good. agree to disagree on, on which what, one we like better, which is weird. That's no, all right. How, <laughs> drink one first and the other second. How how accessible are these? Oh gosh, that you can get them at uh, Society right now. So you can pick them up at the brewery. You can also yep. pick them up at uh, um, other other you know any beer store around town. And and I think yeah, well, not uh, as many Bed, of them. Bed I haven't Mall seen. Well. I haven't seen some of these other ones. I haven't seen the Coachman there. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, it's pretty, pretty accessible. They're, they're uh, accessible locally. Um, for sure. Not just the brewery, but they're available all the time. Well, I think you can get them at Valley Farms. That's for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right down the road here, Valley Farms. Yeah. I thought I'd saw that BevMo was, was carrying them. I could be incorrect on that, but they are, I would uh, imagine they have them. Yeah. Available uh, locally. They've got at your, much at your better beer stores. At your better beer stores. At your like more it. prominent. More affiliated prime. craft beer stores. I like it. People that like the craft. I mean, you can get, you know, other beers anywhere, but this stuff you might have to hunt and peck a little bit. Not much, but, but a little bit. It's pretty easy to find. You can yeah. always get it at, uh, at Valley Farms here locally in uh, Spring Valley. Well, especially this one right now. Yeah. I saw it down there, uh, I believe, yesterday. So it's available. I like it. Drink up. Oh, I will. That's a good beer. That's so a the uh, you know, the other thing we we talked about was um, since producer Steve doesn't uh, doesn't get a drink during the uh, it's, it smells only that during makes the podcast, it better for us puts out a higher quality product but we did uh, we did talk about um, you know, popping a, a beer at the end and allowing Steve to wet his beak a little bit yeah so the uh, I'm ready. <laughs> so why don't you tell us what we're uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna have we're gonna there. go with the uh, blonde fire from Indigrin. And it's a smoked Hell's Lager. So this should be really interesting, Steve, if you've never had a smoked beer before. we uh, I was talking, uh, I went and picked these up at um, at uh, Bottlecraft the other day, and uh, Gene was talking them up, but uh, they were talking about having a um, uh, a tasting, just, online tasting or something. Yeah, online think. tasting with injury. Indigrin, and they're going to have uh, Gene come in and talk. So I said, well, shoot, if you're going to do that, you might as well jump on our 
podcasts and and do it. And he said, happy to do it. So we got like two crazy Started volunteers. Yeah, we uh, soon we'll enough, sh- we're, we're not going to be able to get to the bottom of that inbox at uh, the podcraft podcast at gmail.com. It's going to be so. just bursting at the seams, all these people uh, lining I up out the so. gate oh, trying to get on our, our episode like a, here. You know, this reminds me of right off the top of the bat. Fair State. Mm. Just that, Minnes- that, that, Minnesota's Pete, finest. that Pete smoke smell to it and everything. I like it. So the uh, while, it's while different. We, while we wrap up here real quick and Charlie tastes his beer, I'm going to take care of some housekeeping. So uh, as, as we said earlier, uh, feel free to email us at the podcraft podcast at gmail.com with any questions or suggestions. Let us know how we're doing. Feel free to give us a follow at the podcraft on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Our web page, thepodcraft.com. And feel free to, uh, uh, at, we're on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube as well. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Also Spotify. And Spotify. Spotty. Last, but certainly not least, Spotify. Charlie, you got anything else? Cheers. Drink up. I will, Oh, that's phenomenal. Good that call on the, uh, the closing s- beer there. Yeah, we'll mix Steve, it what up. What do you think of that? That's pretty good. I like it's pretty it. good. What do you mean? It's well, great. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> nice and smoky. It's definitely smoky. Jeremy's giving us yeah, the nod. It's definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Different. We have, we have our it's first good. studio uh, contestant. We do yes, have yeah. our, uh, our first studio audience. He came in. Uh, we baited him in with uh, beer. With beer. <laughs> it's, uh, Easily done. Hard sell, yeah. <laughs> I like uh, it. We got a Welcome. Beer. Yeah. Thanks for uh, for showing up. A little, little different with the live studio yeah, audience. Yeah, ooh, quit the speaking in front of <sighs> Yeah, they're uh, they're going wild over there. It's yeah. pandemonium. <laughs> pandemonium in the in the crowd. I right, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again uh, Monday, August tenth. Uh, we'll focus on modern times beers. Yes. Cheers. I like it. We'll see you next time. The PodCraft podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.